What's going on guys? I'm back with another video. And today we're gonna be doing some body work on my Mustang. I've kind of gotten started already. And this is what it's looking like. We took the badges off, filled those in. Did the same on the back here where the Ford emblem was. We kind of sanded down the little spots up here. It was all cracked and a little rusted out. So we went ahead and sanded those down. Move it around to this side. Uh, we took the fuel door off. We're repainting that, making it nice and smooth and flat so we can make it look as good as possible. Um, I went around the car and like these little door dings and everything, you'll see these all over the car, but pretty much we sanded those down, filled it in with some Bondo and sanded it flat. Um, also up here, you can see it on this side, not on the other side. Up here and up here, we took all the trim off around the doors, sanded it sprayed some primer on it so we can put the trim back on while we finish the rest of the car because I drive this to work every day. But that's why it's like a flat gray up here. I went ahead and sprayed it and sanded it. And then on this front bumper here, I'll go ahead and put some pictures in. There's a giant dent right here. The fender was all beat up. I ain't gonna lie to you guys. Whenever the car would have a problem and I would get mad, I would take my anger out on this fender because it was already messed up and I didn't plan on saving it, but my dad gave me some confidence and my dad did a lot of the work on this to get it to look how it is right now. I marked off some of the spots that still need a little bit of work, you know, just some more Bondo and sanding and get it smooth and it'll be, it'll be good. So in today's video, we're going to be filling in the back bumper, but this is not a Cobra. So we're going to be filling that in with some fiberglass and then possibly some Bondo and sanding it down smooth. So the first thing you guys are going to want to do is sand down the area. I use some 80 grit and then move up to 120, 150, whatever. We went ahead and put some of this tape paper stuff right down here just so we don't trip it. What we're going to do is you're going to need some Bondo glass. So I got my Bondo in this corner, my Bondo glass. I got my hardener over here. So you're going to put it separated and then you're going to mix it as you go so it doesn't harden on you. And then you're able to use all of it up and not waste money by wasting your material <laughs> all right so i just got done sanding it as you guys can see it looks a lot different from what it then what it did before but you can see the like the inside of the letters you can see that red paint and then the fiberglass or primer that was underneath it some of these it's not as good but some like that needs filled in pretty bad before I, I'm gonna sand it all the way down, but that needs filled in, but that's what it's supposed to look like. So now we're gonna go ahead and clean it with some grease and wax remover. You should take that on like a paper towel and look at that. I hope you see a lot better of the layers you have. So after you clean it off, we're gonna go ahead and put some more. Well, this time we're gonna put Bondo, like filler, not glass it's a little softer and easier to sand since we got most of it filled in it'll be easier with the bondo just to fill in these little tiny crevices and then sand that off because we don't need the bondo will stick into these little tiny things we just needed the fiberglass for these deeper bigger holes so i just applied some bondo uh i used a little bit too much hardener as you see it started drying up and i was trying to spread it evenly and it was doing this weird stuff but that's okay. We'll go ahead and sand this down and do some more Bondo afterwards to get it perfect. All right, guys. So we're fixing my headlight panel thing on the front of my Mustang. This is where the front bumper connects to it. And these basically go right here. But when my bog joint broke, I had to get it towed and the front bumper got ripped off. So this side and this side got ripped off. All right, so here we are on the driver's side and rear. This had a dent in it. I'll put a picture in there. I've used the dent puller. Uh, I used the hammer and sander. And what I did was I sprayed some yellow primer on here. The yellow stands out a little bit, so it helped with the high spots and the low spots. 
So I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do is put some Bondo in here and try to get it flat again. Pretty much what you do is you just Guys, so it's the next morning and to start the day off, I was just going ahead and sanding this down, finding all the low and high spots, using some of the hammers, trying to hit these areas down, and we're going to go ahead and fill it and sand it smooth because we're over this already. And if it doesn't look super, I mean, like if you look at it, like it's going to be, it should look pretty decent. Before we fill that front fender with Bondo, we're going to go ahead and sand this down. I filled this with Bondo for you guys last night. This is what it's looking like. We're going to go ahead and sand this down. See if we need to add a tiny bit more in there. So let's go ahead and sand it down. We'll be back after that. All right, guys. So I don't know what last footage you guys are seeing, but pretty much we got most of the car sanded down. And as you can see, we got these areas sanded down where it's bare metal. And so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is take some grease and wax remover. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it down and then we're gonna spray each little spot with some primer so it doesn't rust because I don't feel like sanding down the rust again. Alright guys, I'm gonna paint my roof. Try not to paint my windshield. Alright guys, I'm gonna go ahead and primer this fender right here. Uh, as you guys can see, this uh, was really screwed up. Um, you can see how many different layers there are. All right, guys. So we have the back bumper filled in and sanded down as smooth as possible. There still might be a couple low spots in that yellow. We aren't completely sure. That could be flat. We're going to go ahead and prime it like we have the rest of the car, and we're going to see how smooth it is. All right, we just got some primer on it. First coat. We're going to let this dry and see what it looks like. See if we got to do some more work. Maybe put a second layer of primer, which I need to go get some more tomorrow. And maybe sand it down and see if it looks how we want it. All right, guys. So it is the next day. It's getting ready to rain. So I'm going to go ahead and take a quick tour around the car and show you guys what it's looking like right now. First thing I got to say is that with it sanded down and primed like this, it looks like it's a cartoon. Here up front, we have yellow misted on the fender. So we can go ahead and sand it down and check for high and low spots because we've worked this area so many times and to you guys that might look pretty good but if you can see there's just like it's wavy down here you can see that coming around here we got primed up here by these holes sanded down uh we got some primer on the back bumper now this isn't perfect either we gotta do a tiny bit of work to that this i'm pretty sure this is done i'm pretty sure we did a good job on that everything else looking good and then over here where the bag is the badge was, it's nice and smooth. And then up here was a dent, nice and smooth. So we're good. The only thing is I am going to be repainting the whole car. So this is a good picture. We're gonna have to do all the door jams underneath the trunk, the whole car. So we have the outside of it sanded right now. We gotta do a little bit more, but I thought I would just show you guys the car before it started raining outside. Rain come out of nowhere. It's like. 10 or 15 degrees cooler than it was yesterday. The sun's not out. It feels so good out here right now. But here's what the car is looking like.